Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Panic. I'm a portrait photographer. And in this video, I'm going to be walking you around outside of my studio at my outdoor studio space. In a previous video, I showed you the inside of my studio. I'll link to that video here. And today, as we walk around the outside of the studio space, I just wanted to show y'all uh, what it would look like if you came for a photo shoot with me, but also if you don't have a studio space and you want to take pictures, how you can maybe set up your yard or an area around your house to make it easier to take photos. Please be sure to follow my Instagram page, at Sarah Parent, I'll link to it down below. And please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, let's get started with the tour. So as you approach my uh, studio entry, there is a front porch. Now I've always dreamed of having a front porch. I grew up in the south and big front porches were kind of a mainstay, so I've always wanted to have one. And so I was able to incorporate that in the design of my studio. If you have a front porch, you can put some furniture out there. It really helps add to the space and gives you a place where you can pose people on or use as a prop. So on my porch, I have columns that I use often for posing people against. I have a couch that I got at Cost Plus World Market, I'll try to link it down below, and these rocking chairs I got at actually Aldi's of all places, which is kind of weird. I just always loved rocking chairs. I also uh, was able to incorporate into the landscape these great stone steps. So when you're thinking about your exterior space and being able to utilize that best for photos, you're going to want to think about um, adding bright pops of color. I love lavender and it smells heavenly. And so it also just makes a great um, kind of just frame for people's faces when they're sitting on the stairs and it just makes uh, for good color. My studio is based in my home and I have a separate entrance where clients can enter. I also have a door out of the back of my studio that we can access to the backyard area. So in the backyard of my studio, it, as you walk out the back, it's kind of a wide open space, which makes for a great backdrop when you're taking photos. And you can have, even if you don't have much surrounding you, you can kind of have an open field look. So a couple things I have set up as props in my backyard are this raw iron table that I actually found on Amazon. I'll link to that down below. But this is perfect for posing people on. You can get sitting, sitting shots. I also found a great gazebo out at Home Goods. So you can find a lot of these things at TJ Maxx or Home Goods. And this just, I, I found this and I fell in love with it. And I put it up in the backyard and it is just perfect for posing. I love it. I have, um, I wanted to add a little bit of decorative elements. I tried to plant some morning glories around it, but that doesn't always work for all seasons. So I went to Michael's and bought some craft flowers. It adds a little bit of beauty to the gazebo. Another element that I have in my backyard, again, I found this at TJ Maxx. It is this awesome swing. I use this so much. It's a lot of fun, it's whimsical. There's a lot of different ways you can pose people with a swing like this. And um, I think it's a great addition to any backyard space. One thing that you can use that a lot of people have or maybe you have in your area is at outside of my studio, I have a long road that winds back. This adds great depth to the photos. I use this in all seasons, it's especially beautiful in the fall. Below my porch, I installed a greenery wall from Amazon. I'll link to it below. It's kind of a fun, trendy thing to post people against. So that is the outdoor tour of my studio space. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some good information that you can use to take photos in your own yard. Oh, and I hope you'll come out and see me to do a photo shoot in my studio. Please be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. It helps me a lot. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer.